Hello and welcome. Hello. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create gradient text using any of the fonts available in Canva. Now I'm going to be doing this on my phone. I'm going to be doing this on the Canva app. I've had a lot of people say to me, how do you do these things on the app? I'm on the go. I'm always out and about. I tend to use the app more than the desktop. So I'm going to try and create a whole bunch of videos all based on doing things on Canva, but using the Canva app rather than the desktop. OK, so here we go. I'm going to go over to the Canva app on my phone and I'm going to show you how to create gradient text. So here we go. We are on my Canva dashboard on the Canva app on my mobile phone. And I'm going to show you how to create gradient with text on your phone. So first of all, I'm going to just click the, blue, the purple circle with a white cross and I'm going to open up a Facebook post template. So just something nice and simple to start our design. Now we need a gradient. OK, so I'm going to add the purple circle again and I'm going to go over to photos and I'm going to search gradient. OK, so we've got some amazing gradients coming up here. I'm going to find a nice one that's got some colours on just to show you how this works. OK, I want one with a couple of colours so it does look quite effective. We'll go for something different, shall we? How about... Now that is cool. Okay, I'm going to use this one. I want to make it the full width of my design. And now I need to add some text. So I'm just going to add a header text. I've made it nice and big using the little white dots on the outside. And I'm just going to say put my name for example now i love this font but i'm going to choose a different one any of the other fonts that has a bit of thickness to it so you can actually see the colors within the text okay and i'm also going to just make it um all caps there we go I want to make this nice and big across the screen. So you, whatever is underneath this is going to be on your letters. OK, so now we've got our gradient and we have got our font. I want to change the color of the font to white and I want to change the transparency. You can go however far you want, but do not get rid of it. Around about 40 tends to work really well. Now I'm going to download this as a PNG file to my phone, save the image, and we are going back into Canva. I'm going to swipe across to open a blank template, hit my purple circle and go to my uploads. And I want to upload that image into my Canva account. You can see I've been um, playing with different types of uh, gradients and fonts. I'm adding this onto my template. Make it nice and big. And now I want to go to effects and hit the background remover. So I've effectively turned my text and gradient into an image and you will start to see the gradient coming through once the background has not removed at all. That is awful. OK, I'm going to try this one. This is one I did earlier. It's not liking. I think it's probably not liking the swirl in the gradient. So maybe stick to coloured gradients like this one. It's pink, purple to teal. We'll have a go with this one instead. This is one I did earlier. OK, so I'm going to go back to effects and hit background remover and hopefully it will just remove the background. There we go. OK, I'm just going to crop it so you can start to see the gradient is coming through already. And the last step is going to adjust. Now, brightness, contrast and saturation, I've, I have figured work pretty well. You can change the brightness of this so I'm going to give it I'm going to make it slightly darker 
I'm going to increase the contrast a bit and the saturation. Okay, so there you can see, if I make it slightly darker, you can start to see the colours really popping and flowing across the letters from the pink to the purple to the teal. Have a play, but this is roughly where I would say you need to be to get a nice um, gradient your letters. So copy these numbers if you want to, minus 40 for brightness, 32 for contrast and 46 for saturation. You can play with the others if you want to. I would encourage it for definite, always encourage playing on Canva. This is how I have created my gradient font combination for you today. So there we go, that's it. So what did you think? Was that good? You can create, you can use any font you want. You don't have to just stick with um, your branding fonts. You can use whichever font you want in Canva and it will still create that effect. I tried to use a chunky font so that you could actually see the colours within, within that particular text, but you can use the nice wispy handwritten fonts as well if you wanted to, and you can use any of the gradients available to you in Canva, and you can still create the same effect. The tip is to use all of the brightness, the colour, the, the contrast, those types of features once you've got the image back into Canva because you can change the way the colours look within the gradient. Um, so yeah, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please make sure you follow along because I have got tons more ideas for different videos I'm going to be popping into my channel soon.